hey guys it's hannah I'm back with another video um today i'm gonna be sort of doing like a motivation for 2020 goals but realistic goals video because i know a lot of people um sort of do this sort of video and they're like oh yeah you should do this do that but it's actually not realistic um and i'm a student so it's gonna sort of be like relevant to uni um so the first thing if you don't already you need to get yourself a planner get yourself a planner if you don't like it if you don't like having to carry around a paper planner use um like the google calendar phone or use your phone calendar like as soon as you start organizing everything like it just makes sense so i prefer to have a um like paper calendar and then i also have more well, planner and then i've also got some bits on my phone so um yeah like this for example it just lays out your week so i've got one that shows the whole week over two pages like as soon as you start doing this it's just like okay like everything is clear you can see like when you have time when you don't because when people are like, oh, i'm gonna remember it in my head so like you're gonna forget things and it's just gonna get messy so i definitely say to get yourself a planner and i need to use my more and actually stick to my timings but i'm working on it I'm working on it um the next thing i am gonna try and do and i suggest that we all try and do is wake up earlier if you wake up at 3 p.m in the afternoon like that can't run like how are you gonna get anything done <clears throat> okay you can get some stuff especially if you're a student like try and wake up earlier but at the same time if you wake up at 3 p.m don't say oh, okay i'm gonna stop waking up at 6 a.m like that's not realistic like do it slowly like if you wake up at 3 3 p.m or whatever try and be like okay i'm gonna try to wake up at 12 and then 10 and then because like for me i can probably wake up at like probably wake up around eight ish each day but i'm gonna try aim for like seven or six just because i feel like starting the day earlier like you just get so much more done um in terms of university ah last semester i'm not gonna lie i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't the greatest example because three deadlines of my three of the modules i had last semester i handed in one minute before the deadline came. guys don't do that don't do that or well, none of them i actually got right so it's okay but don't do that like actually don't like start your debt start your things early but like i'm one of those people that i feel like a lot of people are as well where like i work better under pressure and i just don't feel to do it until it's like i have to do it like relax and all of a sudden it's like oh i got like three weeks yeah i got a week oh it's due in five days oh shit i got three days and then all of a sudden oh, okay like i'm tied up to the deadline so like just don't do that don't do that um but i definitely say to try and start early like i'm gonna do it as well because i'm really bad at doing that so i'm definitely gonna try and even if it's just read the brief like some of my i haven't even gone back to uni yet and some of the lecturers have already put the um assignment briefs like at least just read it so you know what you have to do <laughs> whereas if you're reading what you need to do a week before the deadline like like how and then you deep oh there's actually a lot more work than i thought then it's just it's gonna get techy so i just need to we all need to kind of get on it because why well, we're leaving it to the last minute and especially like in, and they'll basically tell you what you need to do to get the grade because they're gonna mark it anyway so it's like we need to start utilizing that and like, the next thing again revision revision i left it to the last minute as well I've done my exams i don't know what i got but <laughs> left that one to the last minute too but i feel like this goes hand in hand with my next point which is lectures um i'm not gonna say go to all your lectures because that's a lie if i say go to all your lectures that's so crystal because i know I, I don't and i know you guys probably won't go to all your lectures some people do but realistically i feel like you don't have to go to all your lectures like i think go to the important ones what you thought was a waste of time but please if you're gonna do that catch up with the lectures i didn't really do that i like there was so many lectures I didn't catch up on which is when why when it led to revision for my January exams I didn't know half the content I had to relearn and then like it was too tight so if you're gonna miss your lectures please do the work within the week don't leave it till last of the work on your own time at least read the lecture and sort of try and understand even if you're not really gonna make notes um but yeah definitely try to do that also another thing that i'm gonna try and start doing is spending like a whole day at uni so if say like my days are quite short maybe if it's say like 10 to 2 i'll come in maybe for 9 or come in for 10 and then stay till 4 or 5 just so that i've got i've got a full day's work and actually do work not just sit in the library and do social club because if you know about uni parts and you know that you have a social club 
but don't like do social like actually do your work so then you know when you get home you haven't really got anything to do you should work up <laughs> once i start doing that probably um jam 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 okay with this one i feel like there's two portions to this one if you're okay if you're someone for example who doesn't go to the gym maybe used to go or doesn't go at all and you want to get into it the first step you need to do is sign up for the membership if you already have the membership and you're paying every month you know who you are and you're not you haven't been in three months go or cancel the membership like i know this sounds bad because you're not going to go if you cancel it but you're actually wasting your money you're putting your money in the bin and you're not going if you haven't signed up you need to sign up if you've been paying you need to go because your money is going in the bin and your summer body is not is not here so first of all if that's the case you need to just go like get the first session out of the way get back into it because i feel like more time is just getting yourself there and then once you're there it's okay um i know obviously like when you're starting up it's not you don't really want to be doing all the weights and that just do a little bit of cardio do the machines watch youtube videos and try and do things yourself if not you can always get a pt for a few sessions or a lot of gym staff they don't mind actually showing you how to do things if you feel that confident but i'm not gonna lie i was never that person i just like to do my own thing um if you already go or go i don't know like once a week go here and there if you haven't been in say like a few weeks don't say i'm gonna go five days next week like i think this is where like i'm trying to be realistic like set yourself realistic goals don't say don't go from zero to five days if you were not able to go at all last week what makes you think you're going to be go, able to go five times first of all your body's going to be in pain if you're gymming probably your body should well it should be in pain especially if you haven't been for ages so set yourself realistic goals don't just jump because that's how people break their like patterns and stuff and how people don't stick to stuff so if you're gonna um start going back to the gym you haven't been in a few weeks just set yourself a goal maybe like once twice or three times in the next week rather than doing too much and hopefully you should be able to stick to it like ease yourself in you know get yourself treat yourself to a new little gym fit you know make yourself feel good um get yourself like a resistance band all that and then it'll make you feel like it's like now you've spent money and your pain your gym membership you have to go because that's an l if you don't go so you gotta go um but yeah so like with me i go three days a week at the moment like give or take but i'm gonna try up it to four so i'm really going up by one day i have been going gym for a while but i just need to be more consistent and also to do with the plan i'm gonna like i always do this anyway i write my gym sessions in but i'm just gonna try and make the approach yourself a plan and you actually use it to write things down like uni uni work if you have work work gym things like that and if you look at it as like it's not an option like you have to be there like it's not optional like it's in the planner so that's got to happen then you shouldn't miss it like if you want to bring it down it's got to happen me gym doesn't really feel like a chore anymore like i actually enjoy going um and i feel like once you get to that stage obviously you have to get past the first difficult stage but like it's actually really good once you get past the gym it's like a chore stage it's actually quite good um this section is about you take time for yourself you know treat yourself obviously not all the time till you're broke but like just take care of yourself like if you're working really hard like take some time out even if it's 30 minutes just to sit down and do you put put a little candle on do your skincare sheet wear a face mask like you have to um take time for yourself if you're working hard like you just need to sit out and rest also i feel like another thing is some people don't like to spend any time alone and i don't think that's healthy personally like, i feel like you should be able to just chill with yourself I feel like some people always feel the need to be someone just chill with yourself like enjoy being by yourself like just enjoy your own your own company like um just relax and just enjoy your own time and you know take everything you know just relax you know um money budgeting uh, so I feel like money right now <laughs> me and money yeah with my issues i spend money on food and i don't the way i buy things i don't relate it to my bank account if i want something i'll just get it and i don't think oh, i probably shouldn't get it because i'm not i don't have that much money and i'll just get it and that's an issue and it needs to be stopped but um the first thing i did i actually got patricia bright she has um a budget planner that's two pounds i'll put the link down below but i bought that and i basically um use that at the moment it's like an excel spreadsheet and then you basically put in all your finances so like your um what's coming in what's going out like your personal cost stuff like that and you can see like how much 
your either over or under buy um like for each month of the year if you don't really have time for that that's a bit mad because it's like an excel spreadsheet and if you don't really have time you don't really know how to use excel then i'd suggest just um make a list of like if you just put like how much you're going to get paid or what your income is just like on your notes on your phone roughly just scribble down your outgoings then just see what your disposable income is so your money left after that and live within your fucking means live within your means darling <laughs> if my my thing if you so if you can buy balenciagas or if you can buy a canada goose coat it doesn't mean you can afford it if that balenciaga or that canada goose coat is wiping out your whole pay that doesn't mean you can afford it, it means you can buy it because you've got the cash but if you're going to be living on noodles and beans for the rest of the month then you can't afford it like live within your means like save money on the side you can you, you can get that within like three or four months if you're putting money aside each month um but yeah what i'm gonna do personally is um it's time for me to leave apple pay apple pay is ah apple pay is actually a scam like apple pay is enemy of progress is all i can say so i'm gonna delete that um first of all so what i do is i like to just buy snacks and just buy little things here and there whereas if i'm i'm gonna stop taking my purse to uni and meal prepping so once i've got my meals and i've got my snacks from home delete apple pay i'm not taking any money i'll just i can't buy anything and i'll just be like well i've got my own food um so yeah meal prepping with this one i feel like just in like make yourself simple meals don't be doing the most don't be trying to do like a different single meal every day some people have an issue with eating the same thing every day if that's the case i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be long for you but if you don't mind having like the same lunch you can just cook lunch lunch is monday through wednesday and then wednesday again cook for like um thursday for like saturday or something and then sunday a different meal i don't know but um just think simple things like, like things i'll have i'll have like pasta i'll have a buy sauce or i'll just make my own little stew or sauce um and then i'll put like get chicken wings which are like two pounds season them chuck them in the oven do my pasta mix it up add a bit of sweet corn and that's a meal for three days and it's you got your carbs your veggies sweet corn whatever veggies you want and your protein but just things like that dinners i'd fill it or i'll have like sea bass salmon um with paramount potatoes it's like potatoes that are already cut up so i just dash those in the oven dash the fish in the oven and make veg in the microwave but just quick simple things like that have your healthy snacks on the go because once you're not hungry but you're gonna be hungry and you're gonna end up spending five pounds on a dry sandwich and crisps when you could have had like a nice home cooked meal and it would have cost you five pounds for the three days if that makes sense um but just things like that but yeah those are just my little tips and things that i'm actually gonna try and work on myself within this year um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe this hair is ali pearl by the way if you're wondering i um did a video filming it ages ago um but yeah still all right i feel like the closure is getting a little bit tired but we move um but yeah i'm actually off to the gym now so i'm like starting my gym properly today and i'm going to i've already planned um next week so yeah just start with just sitting down and being like okay like i'm gonna be productive like plan your week see what you can do make small goals and when you meet them then make newer ones don't make a jump and also don't compare yourself to other people too much like i feel like that's where things get techy but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys